sweet dreams are made of cheese. Who am I to disagree? Oh, g'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So you know what? Sometimes you just gotta say to yourself, stuff it. So today, I'm gonna stuff it. I'm gonna get Domino's stuffed cheesy crust now. I know this isn't a new thing. I know it's been out before, but believe it or not, I've never tried it. Another thing I haven't tried is, it's in their traditional pizzas, is a fire breather pizza. Ooh, living dangerously today. But the pizza itself, the fire breather, if you just went in and bought it on an average day, without any discount, any deal, $14.50. Cheesy crust, $2.95. All up would be $17.45 for a large pizza. Now, you know I ain't going to do that. I'm going to go into the Offers app, get that pizza, the Fire Breather, for $7.95 and $2.95 for the cheesy crust. We can't get around that. But $10.90 all up. So, guys, I'm going to head in there, grab this thing. I'll circle back to you with the Fire Breather. I can't wait to try this. I'm super juiced. It may be a big mistake, but let's find out. Let's get it. And away we go. Here it is. I haven't checked it out yet. I want to share that moment with you guys. It does feel quite weighty. Now, we might measure this thing too, um, because usually they're about 10 inches across. I'm assuming they have to make it a little bit wider to fold the cheese around the edge. So we'll check out if it still ends up 10 inches or not. Now let's open it up, see what all the hype's about. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of jalapenos on it and it's supposed to be sprinkled with chili flakes. So guys, this one really will knock my socks off. Good thing I've got thongs on today. It doesn't look like we got stooged. So I'm going to get out the steering wheel tray, put it on there and we'll check it out. So let's measure this thing and see if it's up to standard. It's looking like it should be. It's pretty wide. Yeah, there you go. 10 inches. 10 inches. Around 25 and a half centimetres, for those of you who don't do inches. That sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? So I would say it's the same that way. We're not going to bother with that. Now, I can't lie, guys. It's been a while since I've had a good pull. Cheese pull, that is. So let's give it a pull and check out the stretch factor. So let's give this piece with all the jalapenos a go. Good way to start off. Now, if I do this, will it all fall off? Probably. Oh, yeah, there goes one. Let's check out the stretch. Is it going to happen or is it not? Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Mm, 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 mm. Quite stretchy. Not a bad little stretch factor. And it's still pretty hot too. I haven't mucked around getting here. So that's your cheesy crust. Looking pretty good. Better not hang that down too much. Otherwise it's all going to fall off. You know what? I might just do that. Anyway guys, let's give it a crack. More cheesy than one of my videos, don't you love your cheese? Now, there's a side view of it, you can see it in there. Pretty full up, let's give it a little squeeze. Is it squeezing out? Mm. No, not really. <laughs> Time to wrap my laughing gear around this hot stuff. This could be a big mistake, it's a bit scary this one. Puchica pesta. Man, that's hot. Jalapenos. And chili flakes. Now, what else was on there? There was actually supposed to be pepperoni, ham, some bits of tomato. You might be able to see them in there. And red onion. Not a bad combo. Very cheesy. You'll love to see it. And I have loved to taste it, even though it's quite hot. I do love spicy stuff. So, with that being said, maybe because I am, my mouth is lit, and I am loving it. I better crack open the old drink. Let's do it. So I'll just finish this slice off first. That tomato hits in a good way too. Pretty good, not a bad combination. That's a good one to try, guys. It's a beauty. So 
So I'll just put the pizza to the side for a sec because it's getting a bit crowded over here. I did want to do this outside today, but because it's a beautiful day. Come back. <laughs> but it's a bit breezy. So guys, today's Beveragino is Flying Power Mango. Proudly brought to you by Aldi, my favorite supermarket. Now, 500 mils cost me $1.49. Of course, already for $1.49 for 500 mils of energy drink is going to get an it's lit. I'm loving it. I'm giving it 5 out of 5 stars for value, but for taste, wait for it. Oh, and it has a, another one of these ones with a pretty little ring pull on it. you love to see it. And I'm going to love to hear it. And hopefully, we will love to taste it. <laughs> that was a bit hardcore, but we got it. Let's pour it. Orange? I would say so. Yamas. It ain't bad. Nice and sparkly too. Let's put a bit more in because there's no way all that's going to fit in one glass, in this glass. So, taste. I'll probably give that about a four stars out of five. That's not bad. It's pretty good. So back to the pizza. Now I'm going to try a piece that hasn't got so much hot stuff on it. Should we go for another pull? <laughs> Seeing it has been a while, I might as well make the most of it. Let's see how the pull goes again. Yeah, a bit sad that one. <laughs> Alright, you know what we should do? Anyway, you know what? I'm going to roll that up and eat it. If I can. There you go. Pizza roll. <laughs> you love to see it. Now, just before I rate this, I will tell you the ingredients because I sort of didn't get all that right before. There's pepperoni, ham, ground beef, jalapenos, tomato, is bits of tomato, little pieces, diced, red onion, and uh, chili flakes. Fantastic combination. Now, I know a lot of people aren't that keen on dominoes, but that one is a good one, but with the cheesy crust, it just brings it up a level. Well worth it, and I only paid $10.90, could have paid $17.45, so good value today too. And also, cook to perfection on the bottom. But it always happens with Domino's because they use a conveyor belt anyway. It just runs through. <laughs> but that's a nice thick piece there. Nice and chunky. Probably have a lot of cheese in that one. Oh, no, there's a bit of a hole there. <laughs> Let's uh, maybe give this one a crack as far as opening it up. <laughs> it's not easy to do. Oh, yeah, nice and cheesy there. There you go. Bit of cheese in there. Now I better stop playing with my food here because who do you know that actually pulls every piece of bloody pizza apart? Oh. So, for taste, I reckon it's a winner. It's one of the best, actually one of the best Domino's pizzas I've ever had. But, it won't be if you don't like spicy stuff. Might be, might be your cup of tea. But it is mine, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm going to give it a four and three quarter stars out of five for taste, and for value at ten dollars ninety. It's a decent sized pizza, nice and puffy, plenty of cheese in there, so nice and cheesy. And I'm going to give it for value a four and a half out of five, but not for seventeen dollars forty five, ten dollars ninety. So guys. That's your Domino's cheesy stuff crust. I know it has been here, there, and everywhere, and it's been out before, and it's probably disappear again. But my first time trying it, so I thought I'd better give it a crack. So, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Hooroo. And stay fresh. I'll be polishing the whole lot of this 
off right now. There'll be nothing left for Ron.